so continuing so let us go for the next uh, details so details of simplex uh, wave winding so here the procedure uh, uh, as usual it repeats so only the formulas will be changed so now in case of uh, simplex uh, wave winding so consider the commutator pitch yc which is equal to z plus or minus 2 divided by number of poles so if this formula holds good if the conductor has been taken into consideration so it is in terms of conductors or coil sides or yc is equal to c plus or minus 1 divided by pair of poles if it is in terms of coils so if we are considering number of coils so here so yc is equal to yb plus yf by 2 let us see at the later stage so now please remember the first step yc will be equal to z plus or minus 2 divided by number of poles if it is in terms of conductors or coil sides or c plus or minus 1 by pair of poles in terms of coils so now yc can be either an odd integer or it can be an even integer so it must be an odd or even there is no fraction so the wave winding will have a balanced winding and a unbalanced winding if yc is in fraction then it is an unbalanced winding so unbalanced winding we will see it later so yc must be either an odd integer or it can be an even integer so here the positive sign and negative sign plays an important role so positive sign leads for progressive winding and negative sign leads for retrogressive winding so whereas in case of lap winding it is opposite so the positive sign in term in the expression leads for progressive winding and negative sign leads for retrogressive winding and uh, while coming to the tracing of the winding so here whether it is a progressive winding or whether it is a retrogressive winding always the winding will be traced from left to right whereas in case of lap winding so it was traced from left to right for progressive and right to left for retrogressive winding so preferably so we will be uh, considering retrogressive winding for a wave and progressive winding for lap winding suppose if he has not mentioned in the data suppose if he mentions in the data we will follow according to that data so now suppose if yc is an odd integer this is the second step if yc is an odd integer then back pitch will be equal to commutator segments sorry uh, commutator pitch which will be equal to front pitch if yc is even then yb is equal to yc plus or minus 1 and yf is equal to yb plus or minus 2 so that yc will be equal to yb plus yf divided by 2 so whatever the calculations if we are doing here so it has to match with yc so whatever the value we are getting with respect to this formula if it is in terms of conductors if it is in terms of coils so that uh, cross verification can be done with respect to this formula so remember if yc is odd then yb is equal to yc and yf is equal to yc if yc is even yb is equal to yc plus or minus 1 and yf is equal to yb plus or minus 2 so here we can if we are considering positive so let us consider negative sign here if we are considering negative sign here let us consider the positive sign so here the note uh, which has been given here so when we have to go for progressive winding and when we have to go for retrogressive winding so the odd integer the, that is uh, yc is equal to odd or even it can happen whether it can be a progressive or it can be a retrogressive winding so that's the note here we have been representing so first point when yc is both odd and even then any one of the following set of winding pitch can be considered so when yc is odd so all back, that is back pitch which is equal to front pitch which will be equal to commutator pitch when yc is even yb is equal to yc plus 1 yf is equal to yb minus 2 if we are considering plus so here it will be minus so similarly when yc is even yb is equal to yc minus 1 and yf is equal to yb plus 2 
the sign. So similarly, when I go for the second step, that is second note. So when YC is odd only with positive sign, then only progressive winding wheel is possible. So as I told here, positive sign leads for progressive winding, negative sign leads for retrogressive winding. So when we are considering positive sign, only progressive winding is possible. Then if YC is odd, then Y back pitch will be equal to front pitch, which will be equal to competitor pitch. So third note, when YC is odd, only with retrogressive, only with negative sign, then only retrogressive winding is possible. Then also YB is equal to YF is equal to YC. So similarly for even. So when YC is even only with positive sign, then only progressive winding is possible. So with the winding pitch can be, so YB is equal to YC plus 1 and YF is equal to YB minus 2 or YB is equal to YC minus 1, YF is equal to YB plus 2. So similarly, when YC is even only with negative sign, then only our retrogressive winding is possible. So YB same. So it will be repeated here. So whatever may be the consideration in all the case, so YB plus YF by 2 must be equal to YC. So this is the actual note what we have to take into consideration. So now let us go for a numerical. So before going that, this is the third step. Number of competitor segments is equal to number of coils or Z by 2. So number of brushes is equal to 2 or number of poles. So we will be considering only number of brushes will be equal to number of poles or it will be equal to 2. So brush width is equal to one segment width. So these five steps will be repeated. Now let us go for the numerical. So consider the first numerical for a simplex wave winding. Draw the developed winding diagram with following data. Number of armature conductors 30, number of poles 4, type of winding double air simplex progressive wave. So here he is giving the progressive. So now the number of conductors are 30 since it is a double layer winding so number of coils will be 15 so number of coils c is equal to z by 2 which is equal to 15 so now commutator pitch this is the first step commutator pitch yc is equal to c plus or minus 1 divided by pair of poles c is 15 plus or minus 1 divided by 2 since the problem is a progressive wave so consider positive sign so 15 plus 1 will be equal to 16 by 2 it is 8 since yc is an even integer for a progressive winding then calculate back pitch and front pitch so since yc is even back pitch is equal to yc plus or minus 1 and front pitch is equal to yb plus or minus 2 so yb is equal to 8 plus 1 say 9 and yf is equal to 9 minus 2 say 7 so that yb plus yf divided by 2 must be equal to 8 so this is the calculation now coming to the winding table so yb we know it is 9 and yf is equal to 7 and total number of conductors are 30 now the table runs in this way so starting from the first conductor always 1 will be connected to back pitch back pitch value is 9 so 1 plus 9 is equal to 10 next front pitch so 10 front pitch value is 7 10 plus 7 it is 17 next 17 again it will be connected to back pitch so 9 so it is 26 so 26 plus 7 it will be 33 so since total number of conductors are 30 so 3 has been exceeded so 3 will be the end conductor which will be at the left hand side so which will be starting at the left hand side so next to continue with respect to the third conductor next after 3 3 plus 9 it will be 12 12 plus 7 it will be 19 so 19 plus 9 it will be 25 25 plus 7 it will be 35 so now with respect to that it is exceeding 5 conductors so fifth conductor will be coming in the next row so 5 5 plus 9 so the table will be repeated so until the first conductor repeats next number of commutator segments will be equal to number of coils or z by 2 
number of brushes is equal to 2 or number of poles brush width is equal to one segment width now let us go for the diagram so while going for the diagram so go for AutoCAD by using AutoCAD we have to draw the diagram so first go for units type units enter so go for centimeters say ok next limits enter 0 comma 0 enter upper limit 500 comma 500 enter next zoom enter a enter so these are the first three steps that we have to follow now go for a line draw line so select the also draw line of suitable dimension next enter come out of the command so now the 30 conductors so type array so either you can go for array if you are using 2010 or if you are going for higher version you can go for array classic and enter once if you go for array and or array classic so consider rectangle array so number of rows will be one just a moment it is hanging So number of rows 1, so number of columns it is 30, so distance between the conductors go for column offset, so row offset will be 1, column offset will be distance between the two conductors say 20. Now select the object, select this line, enter and say ok so now 30 conductor has been represented so now since it is a double layer winding so we have to choose the even conductors as the dotted conductors so to choose the dotted conductors go for bilayer go for others go for load so consider ISO dash space and say ok and say ok so now select all the even numbers To make the dotted lines for selecting all the even conductors so now go for by layer select the dotted line and enter close so we'll be getting the dotted lines so in few cases some of the students will not get the dotted line so why it is because so again i'll go for by layer others so here the global scale factor will be at a higher level say for example if i go for global scale factor as 10 and say ok see i cannot see the dotted lines suppose if i keep here i can see the dotted line but uh, i cannot see the dotted line so please change the global scale factor value so that the dotted lines are visible so now as usual as per the winding table so if i go for the winding table so one is connected to 10 so connect a line go for line this is the first conductor so from here i will connect to the 10th conductor okay so before that some of the students may get confused which is the 10th conductor so better I'll go for numbering the conductors. So go for M text, go for multi-line text, or we can type M text. Enter. Now it will ask specify the first corner. Just I'll click one point here and specify the other corner. Just I'll click somewhere here. So I'll be getting the text. So here I'll represent the second conductor. So choose the scale. I'll go for 10 and say OK. So now get this exactly switch off the ortho. 
place the conductor exactly where there is a gap here. So that's why we will be choosing the even conductors. So exactly place at the middle. So now double click on this. So now extend this scale up to where do we require. Now represent the numbers. So let's say this are 4, this is the 6th conductor, this is 8, next 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30 and say okay. So now go for line as per the winding table so one is connected to 10 so go for line select a line so exactly you can zoom choose at the end point and connect it to 10 so if you want you can switch on the ortho so select the 10th conductor here so now come out of the command enter so we will be coming out of the command so now rotate this line to 45 degrees so go for rotate so now it is asking select the object so select this line enter now it is asking to specify the base point i'll specify the base point here which is to be fixed and the other point has to be rotated now it is asking specify the rotation angle so just i'll take 45 degrees so it will rotate at 45 degrees so next again go for line select a line from the end point of first conductor and again connect to 10 enter to come out of the command go for rotate select the object select enter specify base point now i'll specify the base point at the 10th conductor at the top now rotation angle minus 45 enter so now this is the unwanted overhang portion go for trim command right click and trim the unwanted portion now this is the conductor which is connected to the dotted so go for by layer select so now as usual go for array type array or array select the array classic now there are 15 columns so the solid line has to be connected to the solid line so solid lines are 15 so columns would be 15 now column offset that is distance between the conductors so solid line has to be connected to solid line the distance from this to the dotted line is 20 so from here again it is 20 so the column offset will be 40 now select the object so select these two line enter and say ok so now you can see four conductors has been not connected towards left and you can see the four conductors are coming at the end connection so go for copy so select these two enter now it is asking specify the base point I will consider this as the base point and just move and click where the conductor has to be connected. Similarly, this is the back pitch. Similarly, let us go for front pitch. So as per the winding table, so 1 is counted to 10, 10 is counted to 17. So go for AutoCAD, go for line. So this is 10. So 10 is connected to 17. This is the 17th conductor. Enter. Now go for rotate. Select the object. Select this line. Enter. Say this. Uh, take this as the base point. Now it is asking specify the rotation angle. So I will specify the rotation angle as minus 45. Enter. Now again go for line 
select a line from 1 to 17 enter now go for rotate so go for rotate select this line enter select the base point at the 17th conductor now type 45 degrees enter so now go for trim command right click so trim this unwanted portion enter now this is the dotted line select this go for by layer select the dotted line so now if you see see dotted has to be connected to dotted so how many conductors has been it has to be connected to right so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so it has to be represented as 11 so i'll go for array enter now here i'll represent this as 11 so column offset will be 40 go for select the object select these two lines enter say ok so now the conductors which has to be connected which has unconnected so you can go for copy select these two enter select the base point as this end now you can go here so connect to the solid lines so automatically the conductors which are not connected it can be connected automatically so four conductors so here also we are getting four conductors so now how to number the end conductors so if you see the end conductors this is the back pitch so back pitch so this is the first end conductor which is connected to 23 okay so now i'll go for winding table so see 23 is connected to 2 so this is back pitch so yb 23 is connected to 2 so represent that as the second conductor so already numbers are there control c control v so i'll delete the uh, the other conductors so now as per the winding table 23 is connected to 2 similarly 25 will be connected to 4 and 27 is connected to 6 and 29 is connected to 8 so just refer the table so 23 is connected to 2 25 is connected to 4 27 is connected to 6 29 is connected to 8 so similarly represent this the other end as 23 25 27 and 29 so copy this so this will be 23 next this will be 25 next this will be 27 next this will be 29 next we well, coming to the front pitch so this is the first conductor okay so if i come here so the even this is the end conductor that is 24 see front pitch where it is connected so 24 is connected to which conductor go for winding table so 24 is connected to 1 so this is the front pitch 24 is connected to 1 so control c control v of the ortho so this will be 1 next this will be 3 this will be 5 and last this will be 7 as per the winding table okay 
so here 24 is connected to 1 and 26 is connected to 3 28 is connected to 5 30 is connected to 7 so just refer the table so 24 is connected to 1 next 26 you can check where is 26 so 26 is connected to 3 next 28 is connected to 5 and 30 is connected to 7 that is front pitch yf before cad so here control c control v paste it here so change the numbers so this is 24 next 26 next 27 next sorry 28 and this is 30 so this is how the end conductors will be represented so now let us go for drawing the commutator segments so the buffer line so starting from the first corner of this first conductor just to draw a line of some distance so now check how many lines has to be drawn for the commutator segments so 30 conductors that is 15 plus this is 4 that is totally 19 has to be represented so go for array enter so here number of columns will be 19 so column offset 40 go for select select this line enter say ok so now draw a line from the starting to end enter so now go for line so commutator pitch while cutting so it will be extended 50 percent the segment will be 50 percent towards right and 50 percent towards left so extend this line for 20 centimeters because distance between the two conductors are 20 so 10 20 enter and come out of the command and go for line so select from here extend the value as 20 enter so now just to drag a line as a required one so now so again how many segments has to be represented so it will be 20 segments okay so not 20 generally so if i see this was 19 so this line will be 20 so go for array enter so columns will be 20 go for select the object so select the object enter and say ok so now just close the segments so next how to number the commutator segments so this is the first conductor if you see it is connected to this segment so this will be your first commutator segment so already numbers are there just to go for control c control v set out the ortho you can zoom in click here so represent this as the first commutator segment this is second and here it will be three next four next this will be five next six and this will be seven next eight next this will be nine next ten next this will be 11 next 12 next this will be 13 next 14 next this will be 15 so since there are 30 calls so number of commutator segments will be 15 so now how to number these segments so if you see here so one is connected to 24 so if you see here 24 is connected to 1 
so it is connected to first committed to segment similarly 3 is connected to 26 so 26 is connected to 3 it is second segment so just represent the numbers as so this will be the first commentator 1 this will be 2 this will be 3 this will be 4 so this is how the commentator segments will be represented so now how to represent the poles so as usual in the previous numericals also there are in previous numerical also there was 30 conductors now, uh, we have considered the column offset as 20 itself that is distance between the two conductors as 20 so as per the calculation so for calculator So there are 30 conductors so tau 12 pitch will be equal to z by p that is 30 divided by 4 7.5 into distance between the conductor was 20 so pole pitch is 150 so now the pole arc is 70 percent of pole pitch so that is 0.7 into 0.7 equals so 150 is the pole arc so now so for rectangle so go for rectangle so select a point here so now specify the other corner it is telling so i know the dimension type d enter now it is as specify the length so pole arc is 105 specify 105 as the length so width you can specify any value so i'll specify it as 30 centimeters or I can specify it as 40 also so 40 enter now I'll get the pole so click here so I can represent the pole so just I'll save the document it is DC Rewinding. So let it be on the desktop. So now this is the pole arc we have taken into consideration. So now go for calculator. So the starting from the first conductor it is 0.15 times tau. So 0 0.15 into tau is 150 equals it is 22.5 so now just go for line so take the midpoint of the first conductor click here just you extend a line of 22.5 enter come out of the command now go for copy select the pole enter it is asking specify the base point specify the base point at the end midpoint just move and fix exactly switch off the ortho fix exactly at this corner enter now select this delete so now one pole has been fixed so we can fix the rest of the other poles by using the array command go for array enter so here column offset will be 150 so we have to consider the tau value so here number of columns will be 4 because 4 poles select the object select the pole enter and say ok so number of poles has been fixed next direction of induced EMF so let us consider as a generator whatever the problem which has been given so let us consider as a generator problem so i'll go for polyline now it is asking to specify the start point i'll specify the start point here switch on the ortho next specify one more point here now i need the arrow to show the direction so 
it is telling you specify the next point I'll, i don't want to specify the next point i want the width so i'll type w enter now i'll go for starting width as 15 enter and end width as 0 because sharp point we require end point will be 0 enter now we are getting the direction of rotation so go for text already text is here i'll copy and i'll paste here double click so just i'll type direction of induced emf so considering as generator so select this so if you want to increase you can increase the size just to move it to get say ok so this is the direction of induced EMF. Now since the direction of induced EMF is Fleming's right hand rule, consider for the generator. So I'll name the poles. So I'll go for text, control C, control V. So just zoom in and fix here. So this is the north pole. So next fix the south pole next again north pole so try to see that it will not uh, be placed on the conductor because direction has to be represented so this is South pole. So if we want to can reduce the size. So it is ten I'll go for eight. So okay. No problem. Double click. Just go for the space. So, okay. so now poles has been drawn and a representation of the poles has been given now since the direction is Fleming's right hand rule the EMF will be induced and the north pole will be in downward direction the flow will be downward suppose if it is moving towards left and the south pole it will be downward direction now since it is moving towards left right hand rule the current or emf induced will be downward direction so go for polyline so just i'll click one point here don't move the mouse so directly i'll type w i need the width arrow so w enter just i'll specify the width as 10 enter 0 enter so switch on the ortho small arrow is sufficient enter now go for copy select this enter select the base point at the sharp point end point and just switch on the ortho you can zoom in and just you can place the direction inside the pole not outside the pole so always the direction must be inside the pole so under the pole it is downward direction Next to go for rotate, select this, enter, base point 180 degrees, enter, now go for copy, select this, enter, so on the south pole it will be upward direction. So only the directions has to be shown within the poles. So now since the uh, 
x and y axis are troubling so go for move command so select the whole diagram enter select this as the base point and just move the diagram bit up can delete this okay so now let us represent the brushes so either we can go for representing four brushes or two brushes suppose if we are representing two brushes go for middle two poles so just I will go for representing only two brushes but uh, here in the PDF so it has been represented for four poles the diagram is here you can see so it has been represented for four, four poles so better I'll go for only two poles so go for CAD so I'll take go for line so go for midpoint of the pole just draw a line Now extend this with 20 centimeters towards right. Enter, come out of the command. Since it is simplex, the width of the segment will be brush width will be one segment that is 20 centimeters. 20 plus 20 it will be 40. So now just connect it here. Again buffer line. Select this, connect it here. Now delete this. Enter. Now how many brushes? Two brushes are there. Go for array. Enter. Number of columns will be 2. So column offset will be 150. So select this. Select this brush. Enter. Say OK. So now how to represent the brush polarity? So, positive brush polarity under north pole for progressive lap and retrogressive wave. Since it is a progressive wave under north pole, it will be negative direction. So, already text is here. Control Z, Control V. Double click. So, this is negative direction. So can increase the size 20. So increase the size and show it as negative. Remaining I will delete. So similarly, control C, control V. So south pole it will be positive direction. So positive. So now just draw two lines. Positive brush polarity and negative brush polarity. So say this as brush A and say this as brush.
practice comes by when they would okay so let us go for one more control c control v so i represent like this as brush a and brush b Control C, Control V. So same Control C, Control V. So this is brush A. This positive brush. Positive. Control Z, Control V. This is a negative brush. So brush B. Okay. So now, with respect to this, we have to draw the sequence diagram. So to go for the sequence diagram, so it's the same procedure. So go for line, so draw a line of some distance, enter, so go for array, enter, so column offset will be 20, distance between the conductors, so since 1 is repeated, go for 31 columns, that is 31 conductors, go for select this line, select this, enter, say ok. So now, close the at the top draw line at the bottom so now one is connected to back pitch next connected to front pitch go for trim command right click so don't erase the back pitch so next go for alternative trim the alternative conductors So be careful while trimming the conductor at the back pitch. So always try to see that one this is the first connector to be connected to back pitch. So now since one this is the front pitch, it has to be leaving the gap there. So go for trimming the alternative line. So now come out of the command. So now already text is there. So go for text. So control C, control V. So just click here only and uh, double click here. So this is one. So please enter here. So to go for another numbering the another conductor. So one is connected to ten as per the winding table. Okay. So this is one. This is ten. So next this will be our next conductor that is seventeen. Next this will be. So 17 as per the winding table is 26. So connect for this is 26. Next. Next this connector will be 3. Next coming below. So this connector will be 
so buffer winding table 3 is connected to 12 next this is 12 next above this is 19 next below is 28 say 19 is connected to 28 next this will be 5 next this will be 14 next this will be 21 next this will be 30 30 next 7 16 16 next 23 next it's 2 next after 2 9 9 after 9 this is 18 next this is 25 next 4 next 11 next 20 next 27 next 6 next 13 last one so just now we can move a little bit down and this is as per the winding table So now we have to represent the brushes. So you can see here this brush is in contact to this conductor. So check what is the 
number of this conductor so 8 and 15 so 8 and 15 it is not showing any sort of direction since it is a positive brush polarity I'll take it as downward direction next suppose if I come to the next negative brush polarity so it is 16 and it is 23 even this it is not showing any direction so since it is a positive brush polarity under so under north pole so just not under north pole so since it is a positive brush polarity i'll take the direction as downward direction for negative brush polarity i'll take it as upward direction so that is conductor number 8 and 15 so 8 and 15 check where is 8 and 15 so 8 and 15 here and the ortho 15 is the positive brush polarity so control v so it is for positive brush polarity i have considered it as downward direction go for copy enter select this So I don't want the line. I delete the line. Go for copy. And let's select the arrow and show both it is downward direction. Next. Negative brush polarity will be upward direction. So that is connector 16 and 23. See where is 16 and 23. So 16 and 23 so it is here buffer line so always it will be connected to front pitch it's on the up to so both which is a negative direction control c control v so now buffer copy copy the arrow enter select the base point switch of the ortho and here we show both upward direction now go for alternative direction go for copy select this enter so since this is down this will be up this will be down since this is down this will be up this will be down up down up down up down up down up down so can you able to see so up this will be down next this is up this will be down up down up this will be down up this will be down This is up, down, up, down, up, down. So see that the first connector is having the same direction. So now go for alternative direction. Go for copy, copy the upward direction, enter. So go for alternative direction. Up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, up down up up down 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 next up so this completes your uh, winding uh, diagram so now if you want to cross check the directions so we can cross check the direction so here this is the 3 4 5 6 7 are downward direction so 3 4 so 3 to 7 there are downward direction so you can check where is third conductor 
so three downward direction four it must be downward direction so four down so five down six downward direction this six six downward direction so seven downward direction so similarly you can uh, verify here 10 upward direction 10 11 12 13 14 are upward direction so check where is the 10th conductor so 10 upward direction 11 upward direction 12 up 13 up 14 up so just you can cross verify the direction so we will be getting the correct uh, direction that is emf induced in the conductors so this completes your uh, numerical so if you want to see all whatever you have been drawn zoom enter a enter okay so this we are getting a bigger value so that's why it is showing like this so now zoom enter a enter so this completes your diagram So to convert to how to convert to PDF, so just go for file. So here plot. So here go for DWG to PDF file. Next here paper size. Go for A4 sheet. So go for window. Now select the diagram the whole diagram which is to be printed so for select center plot so go for preview so this is how your diagram will be printed in a4 sheet paper so say ok so just I'm converting this to PDF file on the desktop. So save. So this is the PDF the diagram which will be looking. So if you want to increase the size, you can increase. So I'll taking the printout. So this is what it will be appearing in your A4 sheet so this completes your wave winding